Hey guys, this is Dr. Glitch and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about a major issue that a lot of players in the gaming community face on a daily basis. High ping and packet loss can absolutely destroy your gaming experience, giving an unfair advantage to your opponents and making you feel like you don't even want to play the game anymore. So if this is an issue that bothers you, stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to get rid of high ping and packet loss and to be able to get the best gaming experience possible. Now, first of all, as you guys can see on the screen right now, I personally suffer from a very high ping as I'm not located anywhere close to the server. It was only after I started using the method that I'm about to show you guys in this video right now that I actually started getting really good ping and 0% packet loss. Now, for those of you guys that do not know, the traditional method of getting a good ping is actually physically moving closer to the server. If you're not close to any of Fortnite servers, you could not expect to get a good ping. Now, let me just quickly show you guys where all of Fortnite servers are located. So as you guys can see, this is the location of all of Fortnite servers. Now, some of the regions that you see on the screen right now are still not functional. For example, the Indian server is still not functional. If it was, I would have gotten zero ping. But as you guys can clearly see, I'm not getting zero ping, which means that they're not working. So if you're not located close to any of these regions, do not worry, I'm still gonna help you guys fix this. So now without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. All right, guys, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna minimize Fortnite, and then you're gonna go onto your desktop, now you're going to search for control panel and just open it. And then you want to click on this thing right here that says network and sharing center and then click on change adapter settings. And then what you're going to do right here, guys, is you're going to right click on your connection. So as you guys can see, I'm using an ethernet. Also, let me just tell you guys straight up. If you're not using an ethernet cable, you just cannot expect to get good ping. A wired connection is always going to be better than a wireless connection. So once you're here, what you want to do is you're going to go on to configure and then go on to advanced. Now, once you're here, you're going to see this option right here that says energy efficient Ethernet. So just click on it and disable it and then go down and click on green Ethernet and disable that as well. So what these two options pretty much do is that they restrict the amount of data that is being transferred through your Ethernet. So once you disable them, you can get to your connections full potential. So once you apply changes, go on to properties once again. And then what you want to do is you're going to click on this thing right here that says uh, internet protocol settings or whatever. And then you're going to get to this page right here, guys. So what you want to do is you're going to click on the second option that says use the following DNS server address. And you're going to be entering the, the exact same figures that I'm entering on the screen right now. So the first primary DNS is going to be 8.8.8.8. .8 and the secondary DNS that you're going to be using is going to be 8.8.4.4. So once this is done, just hit OK. Go back and then go on to properties once again, click configure. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on driver and then you're going to check if all of the drivers are updated. So I've actually already updated my drivers. So if you haven't done it, you're going to do it right now. So as you guys can see, the best drivers for my device are already installed. So once all of this is done, just go all the way back. And then what you're going to do right now is you're going to open up Epic Games Launcher. And then once you're on the launcher, what you want to do is you're going to go on to settings. Now scroll down and click on Fortnite. And then as soon as you click on Fortnite, you're going to see a drop down menu. And you're going to be typing in something on this box right here, guys. So what you want to type in is you're going to type in slash. And then you're going to type in allow all packets. And as soon as this is done, just go back. And you can minimize this and then open Fortnite. All right, now I'm just going to get into a creative game real quick just to test if all of the changes that we've made are functional, if they're working properly. So let me just quickly uh, launch a creative server. All right, guys, so as you guys can see on the screen right now, this is the ping that we're getting. We're getting anywhere from 20 to 30 ping, which in my opinion is still great, especially compared to what we were getting earlier. My builds feel a lot smoother. My edits are crisp. So yeah, guys, it's just a night and day difference. And I definitely recommend you guys to make all of the changes that I showed you guys in this video right now. 
Now, you still might get a little bit of packet loss uh, once you've made all of these changes. So in order to fix that, you can pretty much use any software that helps you fix packet loss. For example, I personally use Exit Lag, and I feel like it does a great job in helping me get 0% packet loss. I'm going to be leaving a link to it in my description box down below. You guys can check it out. With that being said, guys, that was pretty much the video. Hope you guys find this video helpful. And if you do, please do not forget to leave a like to this video. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.